All right, guys, I wanted to do a really quick video on how to set up your miner after the Electronium fork. So, as you probably know, we have passed the 307,500 block. I believe we're currently on 501. Electronium themselves have added a, a reward. Um, unfortunately, because of the high difficulty rate and the relative low hash power on the network, uh, the time between blocks is immense right now. So what they're trying to do is incentivize, incentivize excuse me, people to uh, mine. And what I want to do really quick is show you with HashVault uh, how to run the new mining software from XMR stack, which is approximately four hours old. Uh, looks like they just released a bug fix. Uh, and what I want to do really quick is show you how to set that up and get you running uh, and get you off to the races and hopefully get you some elect extra electronium. All right, so here we go. All right, so all of these links are going to be in the description below. Uh, this is the GitHub page uh, for the XMR stack. Again, the description will be below. Just click on the, the um, link in the description and it will take you right to the pages you need to go to, uh, including the hash vault page. So XMR stack up at the very top, you see four hours ago. So go ahead and click XMR stack, Windows 64. And we're going to go ahead and open that up. I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to double click the XMR stack. It's going to ask me to extract or run. I want to extract all. And I want to go ahead and put this on my desktop. And I'm select folder, extract. All right. So I'm going to close that out. I'm going to minimize that. And I see the XMR stack that it downloaded on my screen. All right, so double click that and we're going to run this for the first time. And you can go ahead and add the exception if you want in Windows Defender uh, for this time. I show you how to do that in some of my other videos, but uh, for this time, just for brevity, we're going to go ahead and click run anyway. All right. And basically it's asking me if I want to use the HTTP interface. Uh, you can put in a port number and use the local loopback and open up a browser and look at your hash rate. Uh, again, for brevity, I'm not going to do that this time and I won't review that in this video. But we're just going to go ahead and again, this is kind of a quick and dirty setup to get you going on uh, version 2 of Electronium. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is instead of Electronium, I'm going to use Kryptonite V7. So I select it, I press enter, and then I right click and it shows up there, Kryptonite V7. And then it's going to ask for the pool address. So here we go. Let's go to Hash Vault. And this is the Hash Vault page. This is for Electronium. You can see the huge drop off after they killed the ASICs uh, at that block around 3 a.m. Uh, so we're going to go to Ports. And here we go. So pool electronium dot hash vault dot pro and for my particular miner because of my uh, limited hardware on this this YouTube machine uh, this video that I I mean this um, computer that I uh, record videos on I'm gonna go ahead and pick port three 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 okay so now that I've copied that I'm gonna go back to the miner. I'm going to right click and I'm going to put colon 3333. Press enter. And then wallet address. I've already got my wallet address pulled up here. This is from the old file when I tested this out just uh, a few minutes ago. So I'm going to insert my wallet address here. Press enter. And I'm going to go ahead and for this pool, we need a password. Um, not all pools, but for this one, we're just going to put uh, YouTube and press enter. And rig identifier, we're not worried about that right now. I'm just going to leave it empty. 
Um, does this port pool, uh, excuse me, does this pool uh, port support TLS SSL? For right now, we're just going to press no or N. Do you want to use nice hash uh, for now? No. Do you want to use multiple pools for now? No. And there we go. It's taken off. So let's watch it and make sure that it's going to give back a valid uh, response. In other words, it's going to accept the share. If you see that you do not have a valid share uh, in your pool configuration, you probably put in you probably put in the uh, wrong version. And as you can see, it's very slow. Uh, because I'm trying to mine and I'm trying to mine and record a video at the same time. So let me pause this and when I see a valid share, I'll come back just to show you. All right, guys, so as you can see, uh, we see results accepted by pool. That means you are submitting valid shares and the pool is accepting them. So again, guys, just a very quick video to get you up and running. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, but thanks for watching. If you like the content, please like, subscribe, and share, and click the bell. Thanks, guys.